Hello, beautiful people. I hope you guys are good. My name is Tammy. If you are new here and if you have not yet subscribed and you're watching this video, you're taking in this premium content, you know what to do. Today is... Can you guess what we're doing today? I feel like my past few videos have been very vlog, travel, on the move, like the end of my last video the euro like chaotic euro vlog i was sat in this exact position in my flat having just come back from visiting three european cities i have had a a period let's say of rest rejuvenation restoration i feel like a new person and i feel like i'm going into next year strong like i hope this isn't one of those highs that turns into a low but i'm feeling good i'm not i'm not embarrassed to say that i'm feeling good right now and so i come to you guys today with a kind of like festive video it's going to be a christmas themed video but also like it's just a wrap up of 2021 and talking about next year and rounding up the year with you guys so first things first is i have this big ass tree behind me this is the first tree i've ever had as like a single woman living alone i have just been used to obviously having my family christmas tree that my mom always organized and to be completely honest we actually never decorated those ourselves anyway so this is my first time ever 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 decorating a full tree top to bottom alone on the spot i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna keep it 100 guys i was really going to google how do you decorate christmas trees but i decided no 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 tammy you are too creative and artistic for any of that we are going to decorate this tree based on intuition based on gut <laughs> Of course, I'm making a Christmas tree decoration deep. I, of course, I found a way to do that. Yeah, we're gonna have a little creative session decorating this tree. I have all my um, baubles behind the camera. I'm gonna show you guys. They're all laid out like the type A person I am. I'm, I've organized them in like style. And then we're gonna put up the lights, decorate the tree. Then we're gonna sit down and chit chat. Like oh, it's gonna get deep today. So you guys make sure you watch the whole video. It's gonna get deep and then I have some Christmas food and drink to make. So you're getting everything. Getting creativity, you're getting deep chats, you're getting like honest Tammy on a hundred, and you're getting food because what's a Tammy YouTube video without food and alcohol? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Let me stand up and show you what we are working with here. You can probably hear from my voice that I'm slightly sleep deprived. <laughs> I've had one of my like 5 a.m. everyday weeks. 5 a.m. hot yoga and then just like ticking, ticking, ticking off before the new year. You're catching me on a tired day, but a tired slash delirious day. So this is when you get the, the best in me. So congratulations. I'm going to set up the camera somewhere so you can see me constructing my masterpiece, my baby tree. Um, and yeah, and for context, this is how tall it is. I am, what if I am, 5'8"? It's about, I want to say it's like 7 feet, about 7 feet, yeah. So we got, we got a big tree, we got a big ass tree, and she's thick. Okay, enough talk, time to decorate. Something I forgot to mention was this has to go on the tree first. These are Christmas lights, or am I blanking on like the official name for this, like the lights? We all know what these are, Christmas lights, I don't know, okay. Anyway, this has to go on the tree first. And it's stressing me out. <laughs> it's stressing me out. Okay. It's tangled. Let's try it. Okay. No more complaining. We are going to go into this with a positive attitude. It's not about the end result. It's about the journey. Right. So whatever happens, happens. Okay. I'm just going to like try and make this as long, like, long and untangled as possible. So I'm gonna go like all the way down my flat and just like get it in a straight line and then twist it up. Do we think that's gonna work? I think so. Okay. Update, I did it. It, it did take a good 10 minutes, but I did it. The whole line is like going through my flat into my yoga room. So that's done. Now we're going to wrap. And so far, so good. Wish me luck. <coughs> no, the tree falling. 
Okay, I got a system. This tree has told me many things. Or oh, more specifically, this tree light has told me many things. Number one, if you fail, try again. Number two, I was I was laying this entire thing around my whole entire flat up and down. And all I had to do was hold it. So number three is some things are as easy as they seem. Number four. Number three. Okay, no, 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 definitely number three. Number three. Complaining solves nothing. Come up with solutions. Rule number four. Practice makes perfect. Rule number five. Rule number five. And this might just be a reach. But the greatest challenges create the greatest results. It is just a Christmas tree, but you can find a lesson in anything in this life. Lesson six, don't forget to breathe. Let's, let, okay, let's all breathe together, ready? Breathe in. And then when you breathe, when you breathe in, push out your stomach, which doesn't make sense. And then breathe out, push in your stomach. That is true yogic, yogic, you. <laughs> that is true yogic breathing, okay? That is my Christmas present from me to you. Breathe in, and breathe in right here, breathe out. Thank me later. In fact, just just DM me your invoice for that one. Okay, we're getting there. Getting there. Are you ready for the big reveal? Okay. Whew, let's go. Do you know what? For a first timer and ignoring this situation, you're not currently seeing this. I give myself a solid 7 out of 10. And you saw that start giving me wahala, but we don't give up on this side. Nah, guys, nah. I'm actually like, I'm, I'm hella proud. This is cute. It's giving. It might not be giving what it's supposed to give, but it's giving something, and it's giving Christmas. Okay, get comfy. Get a mulled wine. Get a hot chocolate. Anything. Yes, I'm using my tree as the backdrop because I am that proud of it. But I just wanted to round up 2021 by talking to you guys. And I think end of the year is a nice time to just reflect on the last 12 months before you enter like a new 12 months because every time I look at where I was in January and where I am in December, I'm just like, wow, like a lot happens in a year. You can grow, you can regress. You can meet people, you can meet people you didn't even know existed and now they're so integral to your life. You can start the year feeling like you want to go on a certain path and end the year like, okay, it's completely different. 2021 was like, honestly, <laughs> and I'm not going to give too much context. It was one of my struggle years and I'm sure you're wondering what I mean by that the darkest parts of my life i was hiding from a lot of things i was hiding from a lot of not people but i just i just like kind of created this bubble around me i was in ghana for the first couple months i didn't have that that lust for life 
that I usually do. And that's why like I'm sitting here right now and I'm like, wow, I just like have to thank God. Like I feel like that passion for life, that that energy and that like that feeling of of jumping out of bed every morning is back and I'm so grateful for that. And of course there are gonna be times where everything's going great and you feel like you're on the right path and then there's gonna be times where you're like nothing is going as I planned and um, what am I really doing at the end of the day like that that it was really the that was really like the big hurdle I had was just feeling like I wasn't sure about my next steps and as someone who always plans everything in their life it was terrifying and yeah I, I guess I'm I'm ending this year feeling really good and I'm also grateful for all those times where I didn't feel so good because the things I learned during those times like the way I strengthen my mind and my soul as well I think have made me a better person I mean hopefully I think I'm going into 2022 with the right mindset and now I'm actually excited like even forget 2022 even January I know January for some people is their least favorite month but I'm like let's go especially in this climate where like we have no idea what's happening with the C word that we will not name on this channel it can be so easy to be like do you know what I don't want to make plans I don't want to be excited about things because we actually don't know what's happening week by week but do you know what my cheesiest ass line ever but i always just say it to myself because especially when so many people will not live to see 2022 you just have to say one life to live one life to live people and i use that motto alongside tammy is it really that deep like this thing you're stressing about this thing you're disappointed about this thing that's pissing you off is it really that deep is it that deep if it's not life or death then i'm now in a place where i'm just like embrace it even the bad things because like the crazy things in our lives really in a weird way are always blessings like blessing disguise in horseshit like to be completely honest that's just how i see it now so now comes the time to kind of think about my resolutions for 2022 one of my new year's resolutions i used to not do resolutions just because i feel like if it's like i want to lose this amount of weight or make this amount of money it's like so stuck in that new year's resolutions box and you're not going to see it through so now i kind of just make goals like per month but there are like general themes i, I want to work on next year so with that in mind i'm going to open my presents to myself i buy myself this present every december yep can you guess what it is and holding it oh it's beautiful holding it i will tell you my resolutions for 2022 isn't it gorgeous it's always from smithson my diary is always from smithson so this is what a fresh year will bring you see i just see days and weeks of possibility so my first resolution is even less hesitation and overthinking i am a big overthinker i overthink everything in my life even down to like what i will eat for lunch or it's not it's not even like i'm indecisive i just make a decision and i still hesitate what like was that the right thing to do if i have an interaction with someone for example i'm overthinking maybe the, if the energy was off or basically i'm thinking about things I cannot control, which is never a good thing because you're just going to be in your head and I can be lying in bed and be like, oh, why did this person do this? Or why didn't this work out? Or why didn't I get this job? Or why did she look at me like that? Again, Tammy, is it really that deep? So I want to work on that even more. And basically, it's, it's just like having, I don't know, attitude. Like, it's just having that, but like to the nth degree. And just going with it, like whatever I want to do in that moment, it's okay. I don't need to overthink whether it's the right strategic move. Next one is, oh, wow, I'm being so open on this channel. Am I going to start crying? Wow. Um, <laughs> next one is even more self-love 
I know like self-love is a journey that we all have to go on individually and I've just realized that when I meet certain people who unapologetically and fully love themselves like you can just tell you can tell they've done a lot of work to get to the place where every part of them their flaws their highlights everything about them that they can't change like everything that was given to them by God they embrace and that's something I want to do I don't want to be looking here, I don't want to be looking here, I want to be looking right here and be like, Tammy, everything about you is lit, basically. <laughs> everything about you is lit. Obviously having self-awareness and knowing the things you need to work on, but like we are really stuck with ourselves. I always say that life is a love story with yourself. You can, you can have friends that come and go, you can have boyfriend, girlfriend that come and go, even family comes and goes sometimes, but you are always going to be stuck with yourself so why would you dislike yourself that's that that's not a very happy love story i wouldn't want to watch that so that is my second resolution loving on myself loving on tammy and just like falling even deeper to who i am like who i genuinely am as a person i think it's so hard because we're always like being referenced on social media by other people while always looking at what other people are doing so sometimes we're actually copying someone else's life or looks or career path even subconsciously instead of just being like yo I have my own life I can never replicate someone else's life so who is the best version of me I'm smiling because I always have to get deep why do I always have to get deep but I hope I explain that properly so we have less overthinking self-love and the third one is having more empathy 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 will change your life and what I mean by that is everyone is going through their own shit end of the day every single person on this planet is going through their own shit obviously it's on different degrees it's for different reasons i just always think like when you come across someone in your day-to-day -day life you have no idea what happened to them yesterday you have no idea if they've just gone through trauma or something life-changing happened to them a week ago like we actually don't know what people are going through so it's so easy for us to be judgmental like why is this person like that like you actually have no idea even people you're close to like you can have a friend who's life of the party but they go home every night and cry and they're depressed like you have no clue it can be like the closest person to you and you still don't know what they're going through you know when like really drastic things happen to people the people closest to them are like i didn't even know they were going through that you know so just having empathy and just knowing that everyone's going through it everyone is fighting their own battles and everyone's trying to be a better person or well, I don't know if that's a bit too optimistic of me to say but I feel like everyone is doing okay everyone is doing what they can they're doing what they can and it might not be the way you want them to do it but hey it's not your life it's their life so just having those boundaries being empathetic and trying to bring any light I have within me to other people and if that's reciprocated I don't like whatever that's the thing also is like not just doing things to get something in return I know like some people don't like the turning the other cheek analogy but end of the day whatever is going to bring you the most peace even if it means that you know people are taking you for idiots what can you do you know just keep the lights around you and give it out to people as much as you can final resolution is like a mix of just general habits i want to do so i want to read more i started this year really strong um and then from september to december i read like one book and you guys know i love reading but i would like get into bed after like a long day and just like watch netflix or be on my phone no 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 i have to get back on my reading that's really important to me yoga i want to take my yoga to the next level next year i've had a straight seven days of going to 6 30 a.m hot yoga and in that week i've improved so i just want to be more consistent and go to like full hour classes instead of just doing like 10 minutes by myself at home um, so yeah, if you want to see a yoga video then comment below, you know, I'm really into my yoga and obviously I have a lot of career goals There's things I've been working on. I'm not joking for three years that you guys will finally fingers crossed Learn about very soon. I cannot say anything about it, but I'm really excited to see where I go next year work wise you will catch me on your big screens um, I will continue to work with brands. That I truly truly love and yeah, 
a big project coming soon as well that I cannot speak about. So those are my resolutions and I would love to hear you guys' if you feel comfortable sharing then you know what to do, write a comment, tell me what you want to work on next year. I would love to hear, I feel like the more we share the more we inspire so let's, our little community family here, let's all inspire each other to do better. And then, of course, it wouldn't be right for me not to show some gratitude towards 2021. Um, as I mentioned before, it was a year of kind of like my most extreme lows. But it was also a year of like euphoric highs. Why do I speak like I'm writing a poem? Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> so I was able to visit 11 countries this year, excluding like my two homes, Nigeria and the UK. 11 countries, um, some of them for the first time. I would say my favorite trip was Iceland. If you haven't watched the video, you know what to do. Also, like, I feel like my career this year took a new leap. I'm, I'm so grateful. I got to work with brands that I never thought I'd be able to. Some highlights for me would be like WhatsApp, Laura Mercier, Etro, doing Fashion Week this year, even though obviously with COVID it was a bit smaller. A young guy, you like a 17 year old Timmy, would be like screaming <laughs> at where I am now. But when you're in it, like where I am presently, sometimes I forget that I've worked and done like social media and influencing for seven years. Seven, and actually it might be almost 10 years now to get to where I am now. So I'm so grateful for that as well. And just feeling like I stepped into myself more. I pushed myself to be myself. Stop looking so much at outside influences and just like hone in on, okay, who is tame me? What do I like? What do I dislike? What are my boundaries? And what do I want to do with my life? So with that, we're going to have a little, I guess, slideshow. Slideshow is a bit lame, you know? slideshow i'm gonna do a little put up some pictures here of some of my favorite 2021 memories i hope you enjoy and then i can finally eat a mince pie i cannot be the only one who likes mince pies right i feel like it makes me a 60 year old woman but do you know what i'm gonna embrace it okay enjoy Christmas without it. These are my favorite Christmas, let's call them delicacies. These are my favorite Christmas delicacies. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a mince pie taste test because I couldn't help myself. We have these Melrose and Morgan, all bougie. Melrose and Morgan um, mince pies. <laughs> Melrose and Morgan mince pies. We have Waitrose, fancy, fancy mince pies. And then, after yoga today, I walked past Ole and Steen. If anyone knows how to say this, tell me. Ole and Steen. And they had a mince pie pastry. Couldn't help myself. Yeah, this is, this is food for one. This is about 18 mince pies. And as much as I would like to say I can, I'm not able to consume that amount of food. So... Instead, I will take a bite or a couple bites of each and then I will rate them, I'll rank them. Don't say that I didn't give you content and ideas and fun and vibes in this video. Okay, the first thing is the mulled wine because we want to let that simmer for like 15 minutes. And we're just going to dump all these ingredients, I'll show you in a second, into a pan, let it get warm and you sip, that's it. That is it guys. It's simple, simple, simple. So let me show you what we're working with here. So we have oranges. I just like cut them into circles. Of course, we have red wine. I mean, it's a key ingredient. So I got some real ha, real ha. And cinnamon sticks. I went to Dalesford. Everything needs to be fancier. Um, mulling spice. So I, I think technically you can use this just on its own. And that should encapsulate all these flavors. But I'm going to add it for extra flavor. I don't know how to say this. Sorry. Star something. Cloves. And like I said in the Zobo video, go and watch it if you haven't seen it. I love the smell of this. It smells so nice. Oh my gosh, I want to bath in this. It smells amazing. 
Then we have control, control, which is an orange liquor, and then honey to taste. But I think you can use sugar, you can use maple syrup, just something a bit sweet. But you shouldn't need too much because all of these are very flavorful on their own. So we're gonna dump everything into a pan right now and mix. This is what everything is looking like all mixed together. And I'm going to let this simmer for like 15 minutes. Just let it all get juicy and nice. I wish you could smell this. Something else we need a candle of. We need a mulled wine candle. If you guys know that there is one, you know what to do. Share, 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 share. All right, our mulled wine is fermenting. For the mince pies, I'm going to put the two like traditional type mince pies into the oven for 10 minutes and let's open this up okay so we have our melrose and morgan pies and i'm gonna be a little bit cheeky a little bit cheeky and put two on there oh that smells so good that smells so good Memories all alone in the moonlight. That smells good. I'm a little bit chaotic today. Not a hundred percent chaotic, but like well, like a, a good 75. Okay. This is these are the waitress, the waitress one. Let's open. You know what? See now we're gonna make a scoreboard, right? We're gonna judge these mince pies on smell presentation smell presentation taste obviously yeah <laughs> okay out of 10 smell presentation taste no nope you cannot compare this is why in life you try two different things because then you realize what luxury is you realize what quality is you realize where the bar will be set this smell is it's scary it's scary it's scary okay final smell is the oleanstein mince pie pastry okay mm, it's nice but it's weak it's weak so far now scoreboard the Melrose and Malden for smell. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm gonna give it a nine. The Waitrose for smell gets a three. And the Olenstein gets a five. Gets a five. Gets a five. Okay. So the other two have to come and swing in to catch up with Melrose and Malden. Melrose and Morgan is like the bad bitch in this situation right now. As of, as of right now, it's the bad bitch. So we're gonna put these in the oven. But before we do that, let's judge presentation. Let's do presentation first. Before it heats up, let's judge a book by its cover, quite literally. Okay, this is our Melrose and Morgan mince pie. I'm gonna give it for appearance or presentation. I'm gonna give it a four. It could be better, come on. And these like random dots. I guess they're for baking, but you could have you could have done something a bit cuter with that. That that's a four. The one that smells average is giving bad bitch appearance. So this shows you that sometimes it's not about substance; it's about what is on the outside. Cause look at this clock design. You can't tell me that waitress were not in their bag when they were designing this. Like it's so unnecessary, but I appreciate it. For a mince pie, it's gonna get a nine. For presentation, it's gonna get a nine. I said it. And finally, the Ole and Steen will get, I mean, it looks beautiful. And this is the type of thing when you see it and you're like, I need to take a bite of this. It just makes you want to eat it. So I'm going to give this a eight only because it wasn't as inventive as that. Have you ever seen a pastry with a clock design? No, you haven't. You've seen a pastry like this, even though it's beautiful. So I feel like those are all very valid scores. If you want to complain, call the police. Like, I don't care. Okay, let's put these in the oven. It's going in. 
And we're gonna leave that in there for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, that's it. Just heat them up, make them nice and hot. Let's get our wine ready in the meantime. Let, let's sip it, pour it, make it a moment. Like make it an unnecessary moment that I'm drinking all wine. At home, by myself. It is time to try everything! Okay, I'm not gonna hesitate away. I need to eat every single one of these. So let's try the wine first. Whoa! It's very good, but there might be a little bit too much control in there. As you saw, I got a bit trigger happy with the bottle. Um, so I will give the mold wine a 7 out of 10. The flavors are there, but the spirit level is too high. Let's just leave it there. Okay, now let's try our mint spice. We're going to do the waitress one first. <laughs> the, the one that looks like a clock. Okay, let's dig in. I honestly don't know how to feel. It's good, but it's not the best mint spice I've had. It's actually better than the smell. There's more flavor than I thought there would be. But there's not like a richness. There's not like a buttery, buttery, creamy, like melting your mouth value to it. So, I will wait to rate that until the end. Let's try all of them and then we'll rate it. This will be the palette cleanser. Okay, next we have Morgan and Mil Morgan and Melrose. Okay. Mmm. Already when I bit into it, I could feel the oils, the butter. This is too. It's giving brick. This. There's a bounce to it, can you see? Also, if you're a company that makes mint spice, you want to send me some, or you want me to review it, no problem. Your girl is right here. Like, I'm actually right here existing. So, you know what to do. Okay, palette cleanse. Very nice, okay. Final taste. Okay, I don't, okay. I, I'm gonna go in a rant. I don't like things like this, where you have to open every crevice of your mouth to eat it like how am i supposed to get my mouth around this it's just messy what am i getting mm. no yeah, I need to get inside. Like, let me open this thing up. Can you see? There's just so much packaging. Like, not everything needs to be packaged. Like, it should just taste nice. This, with this very little appearance, has been the best so far. Okay. Okay. I spoke too soon. The inside is really nice and creamy and flaky. But look, this is a mess. This is not a cute date aesthetic food. This is like in bed in your pajamas crying. <laughs> Did I say crying? Why do I make myself laugh? It is you like mascara running in bed, like haven't showered yet, still have your lashes on from last night. This is that type of food. Mm. It's time for the final and most important score. This is the taste score okay let's get let's go from least favorite to favorite i'm gonna give you 
you extremely average being a taste score of it's Christmas let me be nice I'm gonna give it a four I was gonna give it a three but I did say I would be more empathetic so for whoever made this I appreciate the effort I will say that okay next look at this like I I cannot look at this I actually feel sick looking at this and that it didn't add to the experience like the user experience is poor but the taste overall was okay but it's not it's not a mint like it's not a mince pie like this it's like this starting the race a thousand meters before these two because like, you're not a mince pie so i would say false advertising and the taste was there but it was a very extreme and emotional taste like like it wanted to punch me in my face kind of thing so i'm gonna give her a four six six a six because i'm really talking about appearance when i'm talking about it being too much like just doing too much finally would you know what let's take another one finally we get to the big boss this is like the this is like the final stage mince pie this is like no one is creeping up on her mm. Mm. it's the pastry for me mm. 10 out of 10 deserves i back it i back it i'm all tasted out um we're gonna put the scoreboard the final score right up here i'll be shocked if my monroe and melrose i don't know doesn't win my morgan and melrose must have won sienna you know what to do and you guys i've had the best christmas evening with you it feels like i've been hanging out with someone even though i'm i won't be alone but i really had the best like end of year chit chat day the tree the food the pouring my soul on the internet it's been a good one this has been like one of my top three videos to film since my comeback so if you've made it all the way i appreciate you thank you so much i am going to now watch a christmas movie because like nothing else would make sense i want to watch a niger christmas the new kulia Lion movie on netflix go watch it number two i love the holiday with kate winslet and jude law and all of them that is a great holiday movie and love actually of course so i'm gonna go watch one of those three get snuggly get into bed and just continue to end this year feeling good can't stop smiling okay so my beautiful people i'm sending you all the love light and the merriest of Christmases. Happy New Year, stay safe out there. Hold your loved ones, if you can. If you enter 2022, like a whole 2022 and you have not yet subscribed, what are you even doing? Hit the subscribe button before you leave this video and I will see you, my angels, very soon. Sending you light and love. I already said that, but I'll say it again. Bye. I will see you in the new year. New year. New what? New energy. New energy. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come.